Hey, NL, do you like matcha? Shut the fuck up. Match him your nuts up with my forehead or something. Matcha, how about you match your lips around my, you know what, you piece of crap. You think I'm going to fall for that shit again? You like cold brew? Yeah, yeah, I love cold brew. Oh, cold you brew up some juice to put on my nuts that you could suck off? You fucking asshole, dickhead. Bad man. Get, get back here, get back here. Can't answer it. Just can't have a conversation these days. Everyone's always telling me to suck on their nuts. You ever eaten that suck on my? <laughs> I haven't. I haven't ever eaten that suck on my. What's good there? I don't know. I've never been either. What are you talking about? <laughs> what, are you, what is this? Motherfucker said the flambe is to die for, but they spelled it F-L-O-M-B-A-Y. I can't fucking do this job anymore, man. I'm, I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Oh, man. The little bro doesn't even know the Unicode character for an Exante goo. Oh, okay. Passengers. Well, you know, I, it's a caricature of myself because we're about to get sidetracked. The movie Passengers is the one where Chris Pratt wakes up uh, Jennifer Lawrence. He wakes up on the spaceship that's traveling to a new colony, and he... Uh, says, what the fuck? I, don't, I can't be lonely. So he finds the hottest other pedestrian, wakes them up, and then is like, oh, something happened. I don't know. <laughs> Just get married. Anyway, it's, it's slightly more complicated than that, but not by much. We were talking about it before, like my wife and I. She was like, what would you do in that situation? And, you know, you're like, you got the answer in your head of what you would do. But then you've also got like, what does she want me to do? Like, does she want me to let her sleep so that she can go to the colony and like live a life? Or does she want me to say that I would wake her up because I wouldn't be able to handle like life on the spaceship? I would be so lonely, right? Well, I, I forget what the answer was to begin with. But now we start, we talked about it yesterday because of the fact that um, we have a kid now. And she was like, what if all three of us were on the ship? What would you do? And I was like, uh, well, honestly, I think I would just eat it. And then you guys could like go to the planet together. I think the, the right thing for me to do is just like be alone on the ship for the rest of my life. And she was like, yeah, it's probably good. But then I was thinking she'd probably be like, Oh, why is all the good food gone? Oh, he, he really drank all the alcohol? I mean, I get that he was suffering like a fate worse than death simultaneously, but he could have left us with like a little bit of alcohol for the rest. He really ate like all the best meals. He only left us with like the gluten-free castaway, really? He let us with the garbage? And then Kate said, you know what you could do? Is like if our daughter woke up too, you could take care of her until she was like the age that I was when I was frozen. And then you could wake me up. And I was like, that doesn't seem right. Because then I'm going to wait. I'm going to take care of my kid for 28 fucking years on this spaceship. And I'm going to wake your ass up and I'm going to be old as dirt. You're not going to want anything to do with me. I'm going to wake you up and be like, there's going to be no uh, period where you get to ease into it, too. I'm going to wake you up and be like, it's your turn. Dun, 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 dun. Wake up, wake up. It's your turn. <laughs> and then you're going to be like, what? what's going on? And I'll explain it. And then you're going to be like, okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. Go die now. <laughs> thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. Ooh, you're old. Bye. Bye. Bye, old ass. That's them hitting the airlock. I'm going... I don't know. You'd age gracefully? Not with the amount of alcohol I'd be drinking on the passenger ship if I'm the only person awake, man. What else am I going to do? You can only run on the running track for so long. 
go swimming in the pool in zero G. Talk, you got to talk to the robot bartender at least. And he's not going to talk to you unless you buy a drink. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> also, I think I vaguely heard Ryan talking about the space station hypersleep theory. And he did not tell the whole story. And the chat went, huh, huh, on me. And, and they thought I was crazy. Well, the reason why, here, let me clear my name. The reason why I said, you should wake me up once Luna is my age. Because if we were to be both awakened, then she will die alone. Like, Ryan and I will die about the same age. Or we won't, I mean, when we die, we won't be alone, right? Just, just because we will have our daughter. But Luna will die alone. So I said, wake wake me up when luna is about my age so that we'll die about the same time so she won't die alone because dying alone gotta be so sad that was the only reason why i said it it's not that i don't know why he keeps saying okay all that what was it he said okay go back to your room now or something he said I'm going to be so old, you're not even going to look at me or something like that. Yeah, buy an old ass. I don't know why he was keep saying that. I would never say that. Because it started, it started with, it started with um, Ryan waking up from the hyper sleep. But um, to get to the destination, it will take us 300 years. So before everyone wakes up in this space station, um, we will all September. die if you were to wake up from a hypersleep. But in order to put back to the hypersleep, you need someone else. So you need a second person to put you into hypersleep. So Ryan first said, that's okay. I'll just wake up by myself and die by myself. He said, if, if, it, if things get too hard, then I just gotta wake you both up. And I said, wait, why are you waking our daughter up? And then he said, well, you and me, we're going to die of old age. Then when our daughter wakes up from hypersleep, she's going to be orphan. That's messed up. I'm like, okay, that's fair. If you, if you want to wake me up, then you got to wake her up too. It's not just, it, you can, it cannot just be me. And then the story started and I said, okay, okay, okay. You can wake me up. But just wait until Luna is about my age and then wake me up so that you won't be alone and she won't be alone when she's about the age to die. Because then me and Luna will be about the same age. And Ryan said, that's messed up. And I'm like, that's not messed up. I think dying alone is messed up. And I said, if I wake up, I'm not even gonna think twice. I'm waking Ryan up ASAP. I, I, I won't be able to die alone in this space station by myself. I'm, 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 I'm waking Ryan up and we have to die together. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm waking you up. Thank you, Watanabe, for the gifties. Thank you, thank you. If there are enough people, you can all rotate so that no one dies and you just lose like a year or two. It's not that you can just rotate and just put back to hypersleep and then you put the other person and vice versa. It's just one pod. One pod of... One extra pod. But in order to go back to the hypersleep, you need the second person. It's not that, oh, I solved the puzzle, wake everyone up, and then you rotate. I would rather live 60 years on a sick ship with my family than spend 60 years farming on Mars too and living in a cave. <laughs> it's, what do you mean? Farming on a Mars too and living in a cave. Imagine maybe we already purchased a house on the Mars and we already purchased the furniture delivery and everything. House on Mars, I can't. What do you mean? We, uh, it's the theory of like the colonization and then we colonized and in this little bubble we bought this uh little unit or something 
not an actual, you know, a house that you would see here, but in like the the bubble thing. Wave everyone up, wake everyone up, then you're just vibing together. No, that's so terrible that no one in this spaceship will make it onto the new planet. Because we're it takes 300 years to get there and hypersleep is the only thing that will carry the human to the planet. If I wake everyone up, they're gonna get so fucking pissed. You know what's gonna happen if if I wake up everyone up? They're gonna be saying, okay, who woke us up? And I won't say anything. And then they're going to try to find me. And they're gonna rat other people out. And then go, oh, that guy looks a little sus. Let's check his, uh, his criminal record or something. And they're just, it's just gonna turn into like a murder festival. I don't even know who's building the houses on the earth. Robots, obviously, dude. They'll get over it, wake everyone up. It's always right. No way. Then you ruined humanity. The human were going to the next planet to sustain the human life. That's frigged up. That's the most frigged up. That is the worst ending. True bad ending. Their future generations will get the planet. It doesn't work like that on the space station. There's a limited amount of resources. It's not there for to breathe human for generations and have enough food for it. It's it's meant to be have everyone in hibernation or like hyper sleep. And then nobody eats or shitting or anything until 300 years. And when the space station is about to approach the planet, it wakes everyone up. They can like eat food. And then live in the space station until the planet is ready to be livable. And then they go. That's the idea. You can't cheat the system, man. There's no way out. There's no different way out on this. You haven't seen the movies? I will. The movie, I guess. I, I, I honestly forgot what that movie was called. We watched it. Ryan and I, we watched it in the movie theater. And I said, that movie sucked. And then Ryan said, that movie sucked. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the same page i really hated the fact that they they were like oh my gosh there's nothing else to do so they went to the seed storage in the space station and then um they planted a tree inside of the space station and there was a huge ass tree growing inside of the space station how crazy and stupid are they to just do that to stop at the space gas station? There is no space gas station. There is no pit stop. Space 7-Eleven. I told you to go before we left. So true. So true. You know, it's really funny. Before we leave to go anywhere, Ryan and Ryan's family their DNA is to use bathroom before we leave. It doesn't matter if it's going to be two minute trip outside to just pick up something. It's just if they are required to step outside of the front door, they have to use the toilet. And it made me laugh because I had this crazy idea. If Ryan had a huge family, like if Ryan's parents had six kids or seven kids there they will all be like okay we gotta go okay i'll use the bathroom i'll use the bathroom and then there will be a line of kids just rotating rotating in and out of using the bathroom but then by the time when everyone uses the bathroom the first person who used the bathroom have to use the bathroom so it's just endless of circle of just people going like oh i just gotta use the bathroom i just gotta use the bathroom so it would just take 30 years for, for this imaginary Ryan's family to leave outside. And then if they were to say, oh, why are you so late? You were supposed to be here three hours ago. Their excuse is, oh, we were just trying to use bathroom before we leave. It's, it's just so funny because sometimes they would just, I don't know, it's just a minute or two to get coffee. And usually if I have to step outside of the front door for a minute or two to get a coffee around the corner and then come right back, I don't particularly have to use the bathroom. I'll just go get the coffee and come back. 
the the bathroom like oh my gosh before i leave i have to use the bathroom does not it does it's not hard coded i guess so it just is so funny um i think it was on sunday or saturday we were leaving the house ryan goes i gotta use the bathroom i said okay and then after ryan was done i actually had to use the bathroom so i used the bathroom and i said okay now we are ready to go and then Ryan said, okay, before we go, I'm going to use the bathroom again. And I said, it has been three minutes. Do you have to use the bathroom again? And then he said, yeah. And I'm like, what? This is crazy. I think if there is, um, what, what, what was the, uh, what is that game? The Edge Runner, the, the game that the Edge Runner is based on. Any body modular that Ryan might want would be X XL size bladder. <laughs> yeah, the cyberpunk. <laughs> XL size bladder, dude. Decreasing bladder size by 7%. Oh, that's pretty good. That's good. That's a good stuff. Increasing bladder size by seven percent. But I have I have seen um when Ryan's parents are here and and we have to go outside for something. I said, Okay, let's go outside. And Ryan said, Okay, I'll just use the bathroom real quick. After Ryan, you'll be her mom. She will go, Okay, I'll use the bathroom next. And after her mom after his mom, then it's his dad. And then when he's when his dad finishes, Ryan goes again, and I'm like, I I will I will never leave the house. I will never be able to leave the house. It's just a piss circle. <laughs> oh, guys, we're just going outside to get something like a coffee. It's not like we're gonna stay outside for twenty hours. I put my kidney up against anyone's. I bet my kidney, I'm not saying my kidney is better than yours, but I think my kidney is better than yours. Judging by you drink more, I drink less. That's already a huge plus two on my kidney. We were talking about pissing and now you go alternate solution. You wake someone up and you go straight back to your pod and act like you were just woken up randomly. Excuse me? We already moved on. We're on piss talk. Get on with the class. <laughs>